We're trying to figure out where Han Solo or Solo with Star Wars Story falls on the canon timeline. And there was reports uh, recently, within the last month, that this movie was almost the same time as Rogue One. And we talked about it here on our show a couple episodes ago, and we were really concerned about that. It just didn't feel like that would sync up. Right. Why? Alden Ehrenreich just looks too young to be... A Han Solo, Solo just a few years before yeah. A New Hope. Yeah, that doesn't really, the timeline to me doesn't feel right. So Del Rey recently released uh, an update on its canon timeline on its website, and they put this movie in between uh, Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. Which is kind of what we figured, right? Yeah. But it's closer to Revenge of the Sith. They actually put it right after the Tarkin novel. Uh, which is really exciting to me because this is a thing where Empire here is still developing or just on the brink of becoming full force pre-Death Star. Death Star is probably still at this point in its earlier phases of construction, but it's not at the point yet where the Rebellion would be full force. You know what I'm saying? It's probably still piecemeal, which is a great time, I would think, Jesse, because this allows Han just to be his own, you know, he's just his scoundrel. He's just learning his ways. He's not having to really worry about the Empire because he's walked away from that, and he's not having to worry about a rebellion because uh, it's just early enough on the timeline. Probably the best place for this movie to take place, right? Yeah, I think so. Because, I mean, again, even as a kid, I was just like, okay, Han, it looks like he's like 10 years older than Luke. You know, like... I think so, there's some book that says like, Han Solo is like 32, 33. Yeah, so I mean, just Luke's nineteen twenty. I would have been really disappointed if they were like, "Yeah, this happened like right before Rogue One," because it would, to me that would have been just that would have been one of the first thumbs down for me. Yeah, I really, I I really enjoy just like, this is like a very little thing. It's just nice to have confirmation on where this falls on the timeline. Definitely. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. You can watch other videos just like this one right now by checking out these videos on your screen. And by the way, thanks for checking out Beyond the Blast Doors.